Exploration Films. Check us out on the web at explorationfilms.com. I love vanilla. Did you ever wonder where vanilla comes from? Well, if not for our next incredible creature, vanilla wouldn't even exist. In Mexico, there is a little bee. It's a little tiny bee. It's not a whole lot bigger than a flea. It's a true bee. Uh, doesn't have a stinger, but it is a bee. It's called the Melipona bee. And this little bee is closely identified with something that all of us have enjoyed from time to time called vanilla. And I will ask people, do you know where vanilla comes from? And they will say, oh yeah, the vanilla bean. And then we'll say, well, where does the bean come from? Well, it comes from a tree. Well, no, not really. Uh, it comes from an orchid. And the vanilla orchid grows up a tree as a vine. And uh, here is the problem. The vanilla uh, orchid only blooms uh, one morning out of the year. Now they don't all bloom on the same morning, but it'll bloom two and a half, three hours, and then by afternoon it wilts and it can't be pollinated. But why is, why is there a problem here? Well, because the vanilla uh, uh, bean pollen is covered with a, a little septum down inside the flower, so the pollen can't get out. The Melipona bee knows exactly what to do to pollinate the vanilla flower so that we can get the vanilla bean so that we can have vanilla, which most of us enjoy. And this little bee will come up to the flower and it knows how to land on the flower, push up the septum, find the little entrance there and go in. And then when it comes out, it has pollen with it and it'll go to the next one. And it is, it's, this little bee was made for the, the orchid. And without the bee, you just don't have the vanilla bean. Now, that came up way back in the day of Hernando Cortez. And Cortez, when he came over here, uh, went to Mexico, liked vanilla, took some back with him to Europe. And then for 300 years, they grew vanilla plants. I, th I guess they did it with cuttings because they didn't get any beans. So like that was like 1519. In, in 1836, a man named Moren decided, I'm gonna go to Mexico, I'm going to find out why they get the vanilla bean in Mexico, we don't get the vanilla bean in Europe. So he went to Mexico, he sat down with the vanilla flowers and watched them, and all of a sudden one day, he hears this and he looks and there's that little Melipina bee, and he saw it land, lift up the septum, find the little entry point, goes in, and he, oh, I now know why they get vanilla in Mexico and we don't get it. And so here comes artificial pollination. And uh, then they started growing vanilla in the European areas and they could get it because they had to artificially pollinate it because that little bee is the only insect that knows how to pollinate that particular orchid. So the orchid and the bee are made for each other. They had to both be made together at the same time. Otherwise, you, in one generation, you, the vanilla is going extinct because there's nothing there to pollinate it if the little bee isn't there. But if the little bee doesn't have the information to know how to get into the flower, which other, other insects apparently don't know how to do that, well then you still get an, in, an extinct flower. So they had to be made together. Exploration Films, where curious truths and uncommon minds meet.